What you're seeing here is a Klingon D7 class battlecruiser. At the time of its introduction in the late 2250s, it represented one of the most powerful ships in the quadrant. A dedicated warship, the D7 traded versatility for additional firepower, making it well suited for direct engagements. Only Starfleet's largest exploratory cruisers, such as the Constitution class, or the most advanced warbirds in service of the Romulan Star Empire, could match its capabilities. Even so, the D7 enjoyed a qualitative advantage in combat against the ships it was most likely to encounter. Its opponents, consequently, were forced to engage it with superior numbers, unorthodox tactics, or just avoid it entirely. In a rare acknowledgement of foreign innovation, the Romulan Empire even traded their enormously advanced cloaking devices to the Klingons in exchange for D7s, which were then analyzed and retrofitted into Romulan service. The D7 was the backbone of the Klingon Imperial fleet for most of the 23rd century, a symbol of unity within the often quarrelsome great houses of the Empire. It would eventually be supplemented and then replaced by the Katinga class, but as rival powers began to outpace the Klingons technologically, the D7 would forever symbolize the brief era in which the Empire enjoyed a clear military advantage. 